about seven in the morning. And uh, I didn't do that. Thought I'd film here. It's kind of creepy out. It's quiet. I like when it's creepy. Oh, there's another bottle. There's some chicken wings over there. There's a bird above me making a weird sound. Well, I got one day left in my rental. So, uh, I'm hoping they'll extend it tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll be paying every day for it. And um, so I'm still waiting for the check for my uh, loss of my car from my insurance company. Like I said, I like when it's just kind of creepy out. It's like uh, beginning a no country for old men or something. For a no. And uh, I'm going to go shower after this and then walk around here, exercise. Hey, maybe I should film that. So I'm a little nervous uh, about the rental because I do not have much money left on my credit card, which the rental is like the deposits, you know, charged from there. And then if I do get charged for it, it'll be on my credit card. And then uh, I want to um, uh, wait until I get my payment, you know, the, whatever the minimum payment is for the month, wait until then to make a payment on the card so that way I'm not taking money out of my checking account needlessly when I pay it's actually going towards the minimum payment because then when I do need to pay the minimum payment and I don't have the money because I already put money in it because I wanted some extra money that's going to be a problem so uh, never ends uh, problems uh, you know uh, the way financial problems compound when you're poor but I don't care money means nothing to me I'll figure it out somehow uh, but I'm counting on them extending my rental because like, well, hey, uh, how am I supposed to get around? Wow, this car is flying. They just blew through a stop sign. I'm going straight for the porta potty. Also, I want to give a message to Moist Andy. Joseph, let's stop the nicknames, okay? And Angelo, it's just a nickname for me. Uh, my real name is Thaddeus. Look at all this. Do you have anything like this in Virginia? Kind of. We did go to that one dam the day before. I left for um, uh, LA, but you'll know when the time is right if you decide one day to move or to live in your car, which I think is a great idea. Some people, they, they just don't, they just can't live with others in a way, like in a whole bunch of black birds flying past me. Some people just can't, like like me, I just realized I could not keep paying rent and not hate myself every moment. Even if my landlord was cool, I couldn't stand the idea of knowing that uh, this person knew where I was at all times, could set rules for me, could, you know, tell me who my roommates were. I had to ask nicely if there were any repairs. I just couldn't stand that. And, and the fact that I know my money is going to pay their mortgage and I get nothing out of it once I leave. They get something out of it once I leave. They get to keep all that money. I paid, that's a little cold. I paid about $20,000 in rent the last place I lived. Now, I had to do it in that, you know, I had to get to the point where I was tired of it and learn that lesson. So my plea to you, Moist Andy, I'm going back to the nickname. Maybe that's your real name in a way. It's like, you know, if, uh, you know, Batman, when he takes off the mask or puts on the mask, and then he is that person, but he can't put down the mask. M Maggie Gyllenhaal told him that. He can't stop being who he is when he puts on the mask or takes off the mask. Uh, it's very confusing. Joseph, or Moist Andy. Oh, there's a big one, big bird. Oh, you can't see it. There's another big one. Oh my goodness, he's got huge wingspans. It's like a crow or a raven. Oh my goodness, he's circling around. Uh, I got a good shot, I'm not gonna move the, the camera, but um, believe me, they're big. 
big beaks. Um, you'll know when the time is right if you decide to move. So there's really nothing I can say to push you or, you know, make you do it fast. Oh, that the bird is picking up the whole chicken wing. <laughs> So, you know, you've got to go through what you're going through. Living with your parents in Arlington, you know, working at Amazon. You just got to get to the point yourself. Like, there's the, yeah, there's the certain things in place that may make you decide, okay, someday you just want to move into your own car. Because I know you're not going to be able to afford a, 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 an apartment in Northern Virginia. It's just not possible. I mean, with what you make at Amazon, even if you were working 60 hours a week, you'd barely be able to pull that off. And then you got rent increases, so it might be just impossible. Even if you did work 60 hours a week. And now that other crow or bird is picking up another chicken. Right? Yep, flew away with it. Yep, there it is. So, you know, the other piece of this that, you know, will make you decide at a certain point is just time. Like for me, the idea would like sort of pop up in my head and then be turned off of moving into my car. I'm like, man, I could save all this money on rent, but I'm like, no, I'd hate it. It would be so inconvenient. I'd like going to shower when I want. I like going to the bathroom when I want. I still basically do that. Um, but for me, like, it's meaningless, those comforts at home now. I would, this has made me learn how to push myself even harder. And I know you push yourself, Moist Andy. So money now also just means nothing to me. I don't even care. And it makes things, that's good because, like, I'm not clouded by, like, oh, should I do this for the money or not? No, I can just decide to do what I want to do and I trust the money will come when I need it. So working on film sets, video, even though now I got a temporary hiatus, I gotta wait till my ribs, you know, aren't bruised anymore. Um, because if I'm lifting heavy stuff and I hurt my ribs again, oh, it's just gonna set my, you know, recovery back. So gotta wait on that, sucks. But I'm doing other stuff. I'm working hard on writing, pushing myself hard, trying to be very active, like go to film events, which I've been doing be social with others, you know, always try and meet new people. And you know, that it's getting easier and easier for me. I just go up to someone and say, hi, what's your name? And uh, for you, Moist Andy, that will come, you know, when you just get to a point where it's in front of you, all the pieces are in front of you and you're just fed up with where you are. But if you get to that point, you know, take a few provisions, preparations. I should have more water in my car at all times. I only have enough for like a day or like a full 24 hours. I should have more than that. Especially around here with the earthquakes and uh, fires. Like if the grocery stores are closed, I gotta have more water ready. So try and do that today. Water's like the only thing I get at the grocery store anymore. I can get them for 65 cents, these bottles like this big. So, Joseph, or Moist Andy, think about it. Just think about it. See, that's all. I know I can't, there's no point in rushing you. There's no, I'm not even trying to. I'm trying to give you information because why the pieces slowly fuse and come into place where you can see a clear picture that says, oh, I, I just can't do this anymore. You've got to have your own life. You can't keep working at, you know, a crappy demanding job forever. It's good to, you know, get some experience with it and save money but eventually you want to do this and hey now that I'm learning how to work on cars and I'm getting more tools I ordered the uh, Foxwell scan tool a $70 one Scotty Kilmer recommends it they didn't have it at AutoZone so I, unfortunately I ordered from Amazon you know how I feel about them uh, screw them but and they're exploiting you but um, I'm getting that to be able to scan problems with the car so when I look for used cars, 
I'll be able to look right there. And also it helps to look really professional. So, you know, if the car, if they uh, like see that I'm, I know what I'm doing, I can negotiate down on the price or I'm more likely to be able to. If I say, look, I know exactly, you know, what I'm doing, I'm willing to pay this price. And some cars, especially, you know, um, I'm noticing on Craigslist have not sold in a while. So maybe I'll consider those, but you know, who knows? Maybe they've got problems. I saw a 1995 Honda Civic, 141,000 miles. That could have problems by this point. Uh, it's not a ton of miles for a Civic, but it's a 24 year old car. So that could be an issue. Um, just the fact that when things get old, it's gonna be a lot of little things that could go wrong. Could be overheating, could be leaking oil, air conditioning could start to go bad. Yeah, they say it runs great and everything. Maybe it does. Um, but that's something I consider is that like, yeah, it's cheap, but it's also old. Uh, so anyways, it'd be cool that like if you were around here, look at all this stuff, man. I don't even need to pick up the camera and show everything. This is a huge, huge park. And I'm sure there's plenty of other parks and trails around here I haven't even seen. Because I've been pretty much going to the same spots because... I'm just trying to get work done lately. I'm trying to work on my videos, go to the library, write, read, go to film events, go to the gym, shower, and, uh, you know, work film jobs. And I'll, you know, go back to that as soon as I can. So think about it. Like anyone who's thinking about, you know, moving into their car, and especially Moist Andy, you know, just be aware of what's going on around you and know that when the time is right, you'll be able to live in your car no problem. And it's actually better living in your car in California or in Los Angeles than Virginia because the weather makes it easier. It gets cool at night here now, and that's nice um, just because I can sleep comfortably when it's cold. I don't know, either I have my blankets on or I'll just have my sleeping bag. The problem in Virginia. When it's hot, it stays hot at night. It's horrible. Here, at least in summer at night, it cools down. You just open your sunroof. That's an important thing. My rental doesn't have a sunroof. but And I don't want to roll the windows down too far. But it does cool down at night. Barely rains, so you don't even really have to worry when you have the sunroof rolled the back. There are places around here you can sleep in your car. There are parking lots to do it. And you can just live how you want. Save money. Have your dignity. I can't say it's better than how you're living now. When you get to the point where you decide on that, it will be better than how you're living now. And it's just simple. You don't got to deal with problems uh, so much as far as, uh, you know, roommates and rent. Um, you can sleep basically where you want. So, you know, if I'm somewhere far away, I might not drive, you know, back to the areas I like to sleep. I'll just find an area by there and, you know, try and get up early. And that's another thing, the importance of getting up early when you sleep in your car because of the temperature change and also you just don't want to feel like a bum. So now I'm setting my alarm at 5.30 again. I woke up today even though I was a little tired and I stayed uh, lying down for another 30 minutes. I'm not sure I really needed to though because when you get used to it, it doesn't matter. And you just like going around getting stuff done early. So getting up is really important. It's important to set you know, the discipline for the rest of the day because otherwise if I don't, I feel bad the rest of the day, like I'm just, like I'm paper thin, like I'm a blob, like I'm nothing. No matter how hard I work, I didn't start things right. It's like starting a movie right, with the right introduction for the characters. It can be good after that, but without the right introduction, to me, it just leaves me in the cold. Nice out, windy. Major wildfires here, but there's great opportunities here. Wildfires, man, they're like a northern, there's some like northern, I saw some in mountains by here, but there are also ones in like uh, around San Francisco, I think, so that's uh, a couple hours north, I'm not exactly sure how far, I still gotta, you know, learn the geography of even the immediate area, I haven't done a lot of traveling in the area, because if I go around somewhere, it's usually around downtown LA that I go, and okay, I've gone to spots around Redondo Beach, which is not that far. So you got a ton of different kinds of places around here. And I really want to, you know, see them all. A lot of rich places, unfortunately. 
I really am more and more disgusted every day with the disparity in classes and how some people look down on others and really think it, it would be better for basically uh, essentially classless society. Yeah, I don't have any problem with someone being rich and having a lot of money or resources in itself. It's the fact that they do it at the expense of others and while others are in such poverty that disgusting. And uh, that should be remedied before then we can talk about, okay, now how, you know, obscenely rich can someone be? So Joseph, Moist Andy, I can't decide what to call you anymore. It changes your perspective on things. So now I really don't care about being rich. I want the resources that I need, but I don't care about the money. So I can turn down jobs if it's, I think it's a problem for me. I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, do I really want the money? Do I have to make this calculation or not? because um, I'm just doing what I want. Fortunate, it just all sort of works out. And keep making YouTube videos. Uh, your YouTube videos are fun, so... I may as well go. Cut this, leave you wanting more of this uh, incredible view. Look at this. I can't even see, the screen is so dark because the sun's right on it, so... Can you see me? I really can't tell, the screen looks black. It's really nice out here, and I'm glad to be working hard, pushing myself, getting back into my usual routine. I'm going to go shower and then walk around here and exercise. That is my exercise, walking around, tensing my muscles since I can't, you know, lift. Maybe i got to go to the bathroom, if you know what I'm saying, a little extend, extended visit. But uh, Moist Andy, think about that. That's my thing for you to consider maybe a year from now before you decide on that. And that means there's nothing, you know, to do any sooner than that. You know in the moment when it's right. And you have to get to that point. If you try and do it before you really want to, it's pointless, you can't do it. Meaning move into your car. Uh, but there's a lot to gain from it. And you just, I know you're already doing so much and so active, but um, you gotta film with my mom too. Man, okay, you gotta get on that. I know you're talking about it, you gotta get the SD card or whatever micro SD card. Dude, just get it all, call my mom, go to her house and do it. Oh, that, here, I'm gonna show this bird getting another chicken wing. That bird's got a chicken wing. Man, these birds are smart. That's a nice shot. I'm Angelo, and I approve this message. So, Moist Andy, you know, keep doing what you're doing, keep busy. And, you know, I think by making this so specific to one person, it may resonate with other people. Just the fact that you see a personal message to someone. So, uh, wow. Oh my goodness. Ah! So, uh, well, you know, just have it, just be considering, making the calculations of what makes sense for you. And at some point, you'll know whatever makes sense for you at whatever point. But I'm here to add to that calculation, which is, hey, remember um, Dark Knight, while we are talking about Batman before, I'm good at calculation. Also a Dark Knight line, nah, not tonight. Also, Dark Knight line. Look what your drugs do to my business. So, uh, you may decide at some point to do that. And when you do, you know, be focused, push hard. It may be the best decision you ever make. Maybe you'll go be in LA, maybe not. Maybe it's better for you to be somewhere else in the country. But film with my mom. That's the one thing I want to get across too. Film with my mom. People want to see you and my mom together. All right.